Hey, I'm Michelle Day. Welcome to my channel, Cardly Scrappin', and I am uh, the owner of CardlyScrappin.com. Uh, just to let you know a little bit about myself, I have been a scrapbooker for well over 20 years and a card maker as well. And my mother, when she was living, was a card maker, and uh, I became inspired by looking at, as, as far as doing cards, by looking at some of the projects that she had created. So I kind of combined the two. And that being said, what I found was uh, the supplies that uh, I can get uh, from close to my heart uh, incorporated all the things that I love. And so I have been a maker with close to my heart for eight years now. I celebrated eight years with card, uh, close to my heart uh, just last month. And tonight we're going to be working on a brand new paper pack project from close to my heart. And I want to show it to you. I'm going to uh, share uh, my workspace here. So just bear with me while I get it all sort of set up and adjust some cameras. Welcome to my uh, project here. So this is the uh, card making workshop called Cosette. It's brand new from close to my heart, just out this month. And if you haven't seen any videos with this paper pack, and I'm going to show you the paper pack, the paper pack here. But if you haven't seen any projects yet with it, you're just going to fall in love with this paper, hopefully like I did. And I want to show you just uh, some of the paper and some of the supplies we'll be using. Um, this is the uh, the card, uh, the, the, the stamp and thin cuts that we're going to be using for our card. And just to give you a little idea of what you get when you kind of get one of these, you get stamps. Here's your stamps. And then you get your thin cuts. And uh, this little piece of foam <clears throat> is good for using for padding uh, for your, uh, if you put your paper on, you can put your paper on here and then stamp on top of it you'll get a nice impression it'll improve your impression of your stamping project now i've already cut the paper down out of the the card making workshop because i've already done some projects with it and i also had the pleasure of teaching a card class just uh yesterday with these particular um cards that we made so i just i have a well, i was testing my one of the one of the stamps out i was so if you see some black smear here um when you get it, the workshop kit whether you're getting a scrapbooking workshop kit or you're getting a card making workshop kit you're going to get the directions to give you a recommended project and we're going to be using this one and this one tonight to make a make two cards and I'm going to show you those cards here in a minute but you'll you'll get an idea of all the pro the supplies that you need and then you get cutting instructions and I've sort of torn this one apart we were using it yesterday you get your cutting instructions and then you also get your I've, it looks like I've got these sort of out of whack <laughs> I did that um, so here's, you get, you get cutting instructions, right? And then looks overwhelming, but it isn't. And then you get instructions to put your projects together. And, uh, so you have, you know, the first card, you get four cards, you get it, um, get enough supplies to make 16 cards or more. And so, yeah, the project uh, the, the workshop is for 16 cards, and then you always end up with some extra paper left over to uh, do whatever you want. You can make more cards or whatever you want to with it. And um, just to give you an idea what some of these uh, papers look like, this is just the regular paper pack, so you can always just get a paper pack um, get it with stickers it comes with these stickers and you can do various things with these stickers and then i've already i think i've used a piece of paper i used a piece of paper out of one of these already but uh, 
just to flip through and give you an idea of what that looks like. So cool. This has kind of got a vintage feel to it, which is why I love it, because I do some junk journaling, and I just love vintage things. So there's there's a piece. You get two of those. And, uh, yeah, I did. this was the pack that I used some paper, a piece of paper out of. So this is what this looks like, and the, the reverse side of this. So cool. It's got this uh, sort of like a, a Paris or a French type thing feel to it and uh, great paper for you know you can create ephemera with it you can do anything with it like that and these uh, uh these papers always come with this zip strip that you cut off and in doing so you can use that as a border and then once you cut it off you get this 12 by 12 piece of paper so and just to, i'm going to set this aside just temporarily here don't want to lose my instructions. And just to give you an idea as well, this is the, uh, the scrapbooking workshop. This uh, has three layouts. I'm just going to flip through the instructions here real quick. Again, it will give you your cutting guides. And it tells you how, if you want to use these projects, it will tell you how to put these together. Very cool. A lot of fun. These are these are always a good time. I used to have stamps with these, and they've kind of gone to more die cuts. They're a little bit more fun to put together if you're not really into stamping and the like. So, anyway, that is the card making workshop. Get or excuse me, the scrapbooking workshop. <laughs> know what I'm talking about. All right, so here is, again, we're going to make these cards. I'm going to put this a little bit to the side. I'll probably need to look at those again. I don't know why. I feel like I will need to, but uh, we are going to be making this, these two cards tonight. And these are some embellishments that went with this project. So I'm going to put these to the side. But they look like this, you guys. So cool, so cute. And... Uh, that is, and actually this one goes this way. So neat. So you got this. This looks like string, but it isn't. It's die cuts, you guys. So cool. And we are going to start on this project. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out our little die cuts that we need, at least for the first card. And I'm going to show you how it's done with the first one. And the second one, I'm not going to take all the time to do it. But I just want to show you, if you're not used to using a die cut, so I'm going to show you how this is done with my old um, cuddle bug. So I have a cuddle bug. And basically, I've already taken a couple of the pieces out that we need for this. This is going to be, I've cut this paper this is for, this is called toffee. And all the cardstock comes uh, kind of lighter on one side and darker on the other side. And the same, uh, with the black is pretty much basic, I think. But we're going to cut um, the bow. So you see the ties, and these are separate pieces, and the, the long uh, string. We're going to cut it out at this black. And we're going to cut out a tag on this piece of toffee. And I'm going to see how much I can actually get on here uh, to get this out, out of the way. So um, I'm going to put this on real quick. Here's the die cuts. If you have some washi tape, washi tape is going to keep your projects all together. Uh, keep this, these things from sliding around. Keep your die cuts from sliding. And I'm just going to randomly put these down. We're going to cut these. This shouldn't really slide around too much. I mean, it looks pretty good. Then uh, this is our cutting plate. You can see how much I've used it. It's uh, very, very worn out. Doesn't affect the performance, though. That's the great part. So now that we've had this, this, you know, our papers may move around, but we should have, uh, it should be such that we don't have uh, 
our, our die cuts moving around. So I've actually got my cuddle bug off to the side. So I'm just going to actually cut these over here. You can't see. It's a little out of the way. All right. You hear all that rolling around? You can see some of our stuff's already fallen off. And uh, we found this yesterday. <laughs> we were in class that uh, some die cuts, you know, always come with little little holes. If you've worked with die cuts before, um, the ones we've had from close to my heart haven't had those. And so th these are really kind of exciting because it helps you to get your paper, if it gets stuck in there, out. And uh, we had a couple of uh, die cuts yesterday that kind of wanted to get stuck. I think they were in these bows. But uh, that one looks like it fell out pretty good. Maybe this one, not so much. And hey, you know what? If you ever need dog ears or something, hang on to, <laughs> hang on to these little pieces. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I have a pair of tweezers, but I, I might just need to like, here we go. Here you go. See there? Gets it out pretty good. All right. So I've already got my pieces cut <clears throat> for this project. And again, this is the one we're making. It's really cute. I kind of messed this one up the last time, but you wouldn't know it. Um, so we're going to see if we can just, uh, hopefully I didn't do that this time. Uh, we're going to find out <laughs> if we, if we did, we're just going to go with it. I'll know once I start laying this stuff out. So here is our pieces that we're going to assemble. I think we did okay. Uh, we're going to find out. And I'm going to get a card over here. I just want to lay it out first. bone folder here. Okay, so here is our piece and it's going to go, you can use either either side of this, I think would be cool. <clears throat> I think I used this side on the last one. And uh, maybe I'll use this side on this one. When you get this paper in your kit, it actually comes with um, a slightly different version. On one side, you're going to get this. On the other side, you get this. So I actually, this is the piece of paper that I pulled out of the, um, <clears throat> the regular paper pack. So that's why it looks a little bit different. But I'm going to use this side. And I think this one had this. Oh, yeah. Looks good. And then this. And, and this. Again, that's kind of what that looked like. And to be honest, I sort of messed it up when I originally um, put, the, put it together, which is why I had to... <laughs> cut another piece, but I think this is going to go well. I'm going to see if I can get it to go like this or yeah, I think it'll work. It feels like it's a little off. Maybe I need to turn it that way anyway. Oh, wait a minute. I think that's the piece that goes this way anyway. Yeah, there we go. That's how it goes. Perfect. So that's how it goes. And uh, what we're going to do, one thing that I did not do on the other one is do the little stamp with the with this particular, it's kind of like a, where they cancel out your, your stamp. So we have like this, this one, and we also have this little label. And we're going to use this and just create a little background stamp. And uh, again, this is the toffee ink. 
we're going to use. You can use honey butter. And I'm just going to use this toffee for my um, for my project. So sometimes it helps if you want to just do some stamping real quick, just to just to test out your your project. You have some scrap paper here. That looks good. Just wanted to get an idea of how it was going to, to work. So I'm just going to stamp some random spots here. I think that's cute. I have to go too crazy. And we're going to want to put this here. Very cool. And this one has the other. Oh no, I think actually what I did with it was, now that I remember this now, I used this one. So make sure I'm getting everything right. Yeah. And then we canceled it out with these little wavies. And then we used this. I have no idea what this says. And it must be French. <laughs> you can't read the writing. It's fun. And that just kind of goes down here. So it's kind of cute, kind of cute, really cool. And then if you want to, what you can do is just go and ink. You know, just go through the uh, just use a little bit of a something that you like a, a dauber or just any kind of blending tool. This is just a some blending foam. And you can just, you know, make it look a little more antique -y. I just love trying to make things look kind of older. And let's do this with it, you know. And that makes it so cute. All right. So now we want to put all this together after, of course, after we stamp our tag. So here's our little tag, and uh, we can decide which one we want it to go. I made that lighter. We'll make this one on the little bit darker side. And I think we're going to use a black for that. Let me get this black out. Little tip, this archival black um, um, is not, is not going to be good. It, so you want, this is not a, a water-based uh, ink. All right, so you, if you use a water-based ink, you can use alcohol markers, but I'm not going to be using any markers, so I'm just going to use this archival black ink because I had it handy. Um, so we are going to, the other one I did thinking of you, so we're just going to sit, we've got a, we've got peace and comfort just because, hello, we could do the thinking of you, any of those, right? I'm going to put some of these back as I go. Not necessarily great with that because then I've lost all my stamps and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, and then I just love the stuff that walks off just because you put it someplace and uh, you don't know what you did with it. So I'm trying to put things back <laughs> as I go here. <laughs> Let's do just because. Don't have one of those yet. And I, that would go kind of nice on there. I 
think this right here will work. Maybe. I'm really, I'm really big on <laughs> making smaller stamp blocks work just by, you know, catty cornering things. And I think that's going to ink up pretty good. Yeah. There we go. Looks great. All right, that was just because. And uh, it's black. We'll clean it off a little bit. There we go. And um, you can do the same thing. I did that with the other one is I just kind of antiqued it a little bit. So let's put this away here. Bring our toffee back out. And uh, yeah, it's just, just kind of fun to do it, you know. Put blending foam here. Make it look kind of antique-y. Maybe get some more up on top of the paper. Trying not to smear it. I, I Sometimes my hands are still wet from using the the stamp cleaner. So I just want to make sure I'm not smearing it too good. Too much, I should say. Yeah, it looks really good, guys. Love it. All right, so we'll close that up. And then we could go to putting all these things together. And I'm just using my ATG gun. I'm a big ATG gun girl. And I like to make sure I don't have too much garbage on my hands. <laughs> I love ATG tape. It it's uh it's permanent. It's your pro it's not going to it's going to stand the test of time. Um I find sometimes that some of the projects that, that I know my mother has done where she used like the blue dots just have not held up so i've had a lot of good luck with this atg tape so so again i think we're yeah i'm going to use that side it would ordinarily go with this side but because i had this handy i'm going to use that side even though my writing is kind of Or you can use a Zyron. I'm going to use some glue. I've got a little bit of glue. I've got this Zig marker or Zig, uh, Zig pen, Zig glue pen, I should say. So I've got this Zig glue pen. Let's see if we can get it going here. There we go. And it just put a little bit, you know, put a fine uh, little bit of glue on here. We also have, plus my heart also has liquid glass, which is a fabulous glue. I needed to make it, um, needed to bring it over to... Yeah, let's see if I can pull it back up here. I needed to bring it up enough or bring it over enough to leave room for the little bow. And it's one thing I discovered the last time I did this. There we go. Looks pretty good. So 
not perfect, but looks good enough. Yeah, it looks good. All right, I got a piece of paper or something in here. I gotta get that out. Okay, then we have the. There's two sizes. One's a big, one's bigger, one's smaller. So we're gonna put the bigger ones in first, um, and then, or just. I guess we can see how we're gonna do this. Anyway, I'm going to use the Zyron for this. It'll just be easier to, I think, to get them to lay down and get them off them. I'll have be, I'll be, I'll have glue all over my hands and it'll be all over everything. But you can just do this with regular glue. And that's fine too. I'm just going to kind of burnish this a little bit. What we typically do with the Xyron. And then we got a little sticker. Yeah, so this will make it much easier to put these on. This. That is affixed very well. A little challenging getting it in the thing, but once you did it, it works pretty good. I might actually put him more over here. Yeah, it's looking good. And then you can, what I did with the other one was figure out which one we want to do. Is I stuck him in here. And you know what? I probably could put a little glue on him. Or, you know, a little glue or whatever. So I'm going to stick him in here like that and move him kind of up to the. You know, you do it however you want to do it. That's the way that one's going on today, guys. <laughs> Sweet. So cute. Such a cute project. And I could have moved it over. Um, I'm just going to leave it here for now. It looks good. Looks good as it is. All right, and here's this little guy. So I'm going to move him. I'm going to glue that side. He's going to be—he's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Just going to put a little glue on him. There. It's just make it a little bit easier. <laughs> That's beacon glue, you guys. But I do have some liquid glass. But I, th I think it's uh, it's just a little buried right now. All right. And then let's put that on the top of there. This is a very fast drying glue. That's so cute. Yeah. And then... Um, Cap up some stuff real quick. We'll have a bunch of stuff drying out. I'm not good at that all the time. Then what we do is we have our little embellishments that we can put on. Um, it's always good to do these in threes when you can. So I'm going to do it in threes. 
and I felt like, I mean, you can glue these or you can use like the little, <laughs> this one to get come off. You can use some uh, Zots. Yeah, so, we're, so what we're going to do tonight is use the Zots. And just use, they're just like the, the glue dots, you guys. And uh, you're probably familiar with those. Did I, I got it to come off on my finger. That works too. So cute. There we go. Just because. Hopefully you can see that real well. All right. And you know what would be really cool if you wanted to do it is, and I'm, I'm big on this. I just like the, I just love to put uh, glitter on stuff. So we're going to make, make this little shimmery right through here. Put some shimmer on our little bow. This is just the, uh, the shimmer brush. Comes in various colors. Uh, and if you get the color, it's going to give you sort of a nice little, very faint hint of that color. I did not do this on the other one. I just think it would be, I just look, kind of looked at it and thought it would be kind of neat. There. Yeah. I like that. Hopefully you can see the shimmer a little bit. I don't know about the lighting. Anyway, we have Just Because. And I make a nice little card for somebody. And then you can put a little, you know, a little sentiment in, inside of there. That, uh, oh, why don't we try to do that? You know, not... Sometimes we just do the fronts and we don't do the sentiments and the inside. And I'm just going to, I've got a bunch of these cut down. And I, we probably can't use this. I wonder if we can use this one. Ah, probably not because i got glue all over that one. But I've got a bunch of these. I cut a bunch of these cardstock pieces down. And <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure why I did it. <laughs> But anyway, let's do that. Let's let's just put a little stamp on there, and we're gonna put another little. Um, just gonna find our. Here we go. Let's do. Thinking of you. That would be a good one. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it. I wonder. Let's put it. I don't think the thinking of you works with this one. It might, guys. I might get it on here. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I could move this over a little bit, tiny bit. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but... All right, we're going to see how that works on our paper. But, and I think what I'm going to do is we're going to just sort of, we're going to take this color and sort of get some color on our paper. Good. Obviously, you could do this with just a, the toffee. <laughs> but since I had these, I thought this would be kind of cool. And if we want to, we can just see how we're doing with this. Not getting too much ink on everything. Kind of do this with it a little bit. Blend. 
it in. That's kind of cute. I do like that. Now what we're going to do, I think, is just do that thinking of you in here. But we can do, what have we not done yet on this one? I don't know. We could conceivably, I think it's just going to be too long. But I think it'll still be okay. There we go. So our stamp block. Get it a little less wavy. <laughs> looks looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. I'm just gonna use the same toffee. We could use an alternating color. We could use that mulberry. I think we'll just use, we're going to stick with this toffee. And again, uh, this, you know, if you get these out, provides a little extra cushion for your stamped image. that uh, gives it a little bit better impression. Let's go this way with it. That's really cool. I'm not really doing too good with the uh, line it back up. There we go. I like that. You could even do go this way with it. Is that not the coolest thing? I must have ink on my my block. But that's all right. It gives it kind of that old look. So whenever you have ink on, it's always good to check your edges to see if you've got ink on it. And I do. I can see that. Um, but I still like it because it gives that old antique -y look, which I really love. And you could. I'm just looking for different things to do with this, you guys. Here, let's do this one. I have not tried this one yet. Put some little flourishes in, yeah. Could turn. I don't know which way it should go. <laughs> I like that. So pretty, pretty cool. All right, Lynn, let's do thinking of you wherever I stuck that whole thing. Um, we could do that in the black. Kind of thinking we should do that one in the black. There we go. Is that not the coolest thing? All right. So we got it, you guys. And I have black ink on my finger. Not a big deal. All right. It's always good when you just, you know, clean the ink off as you go. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. All right. And then... And then just when you feel like you're going to get this done, you don't know where you stuck your project. Here we go, you guys. I love it. Looks good. We don't do too many of these uh, videos where you're actually doing the inside. The most important part is like the whole... Sentiments, right? You could even put, you layer something under that, which would be really cool as well. So that's cute. Very good. Just because and thinking of you. And I could even take another one of these or two of these little guys here. 
and put them, you know, here. Very pretty. Just because. All right. So that's the first one. Um, just to take a break, I want to tell you about car, uh, uh, the cardstock carnival that's going on. So I wanted to show you cardstock carnival is going on. You can get up like a 30% discount on cardstock. Now this, I got, I still have some of this left over from cardstock carnival last year. So you can get various uh, color arrangements, however you want to do it. Um, you can uh, just make it your own, but this is a, uh, it comes to a cardstock carnival. You can get cardstock. You can get this UV coated cardstock. And like I said, I've, I got this, this stuff last year, but it comes in all kinds of different colors. And uh, it, there's a really big, there's a grand, grand pack, <laughs> a, a mega pack, as you, if you will. And it's a really good deal on this cardstock. Check it out on my blog. Uh, or on my, I should say, on my uh, on my website, my Close to My Heart website, which is cardlyscrappin.closetomyheart.com. But check out that Cardstock Carnival uh, deal that's going on, promotion that's going on right now. And, uh, you know, pick your color. These are just some of the colors I have left over, like I said, from last year. And I'm going to be ordering it this year as well. And that goes on through the end of the month. Okay, so we'll compare the ones I did from. So these are the ones that I did. Uh, this is the one I did the last time I did it. And this is the one that we made tonight. We're going to be doing this one next. And all of my project pieces are in here. This one's not so involved. Again, we have to cut out that little piece, which I'm going to do off camera. So I'm going to use this and cut my piece off camera. Okay, we're back. <laughs> All my pieces cut out. And we're going to get stamping. And so these are the papers that we need. I pulled them out. And the, this is a little piece. You can see on this card, this is a little piece that's going to go in here and on top of this cardstock, this blue cardstock that we call Mist. And it's all going to be layered on, uh, I've done this in this sort of mulberry colored, uh, kind of like stripe. I like to think of it as wallpaper or something. It's more wallpaper is what it looks like to me. But we're going to use the reverse side. We're going to actually use this side of the paper. And instead of using that side. And then the zip strip goes on the top. Very cool. So we're going to do this stamping that's on the top of this sort of, I think this is the French vanilla or the white daisy, uh, white daisy cardstock. And we're going to use that and do our stamping. I just love, it's so cool that I, I, I might actually kind of looks like I need to straighten it a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good. Kind of make it a little, a little straighter anyway. And yeah, this way. Now you can see I've sort of done what happens when you mess things up you do the reverse side of your paper. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> we're going to do the reverse side. All right. And we're going to do I am going to do after I do this one, I'm going to do the others with that little piece of uh, foam underneath. There, that looks pretty good. All right, and then I think we're going to do, this one goes with, 
it's the crazy writing that you can't read on the bottom. There you go. Looks so cool. Love it. All right, we got that. And so we're going to bring the next one over, which is this little stamp. It's like a, it's like a solid stamp. And we're going to use our mist ink for this. This color is called mist again, just like the paper that I called mist. The cardstock is called, the blue cardstock is called mist. We're going to use the mist ink to do this little stamp. And sometimes what I find is, let's get a couple practice stamps in, make sure it's inked the way you want it, and it appears the way you want it to. I just want to cancel it a little bit. Perfect. I like that. Just gives it a very faint impression of a kind of a stamp. <laughs> All right. That looks really cool. And now we're going to do our, uh, our sentiment on here. And I'm going to keep that same one that we had, the thinking of you. And we can do that in the black or we can do that in the mist. You know what? I'm going to do this one in the mist. I haven't done it that way yet. So let's do that. It's great. I kind of like that color. Right. And let's go back to antiquing our stuff, our little things. Just love that antique look. Goes really well with these projects, I think. And we're not going to go too nuts with this one. We'll maybe some of the edges a little bit right there. On that one looks great. Same with this. You don't have to go too nuts. It's a little bit of definition, I think. A little bit of definition to it lovely and we'll put this whole thing together a little card out move some stuff a little bone folder I'm trying to make sure I don't have a ton of ink on my fingers Now this one goes this way. It's a landscape mode. It's going in landscape. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this big piece of paper down. I'm just going to run this. <laughs> and don't drive drunk. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. It's like... Can she make a straight line? Yeah, ordinarily I can. But, uh, and I'm probably going a little overkill with this tape. You don't really need to use this much tape. But I'm just doing it anyway. Since I got started it, on it. Good enough. I just wanted to get some extra piece of tape on the, uh, on the edges a little bit. Now you watch. It's going to make it too hard to line this up and put it down. I'm hoping this goes well. And the lighting in here is not really good tonight. So I'm hoping I'm hitting edges. But I'm not too too hopeful. That doesn't look too bad. I'm not loving it, but we're just going to leave it be. It's at the top. Anyways, that's going to be covered. So... Yeah, and look, I just went crazy with that uh, ATG gun. Perfect. Looks really good. Pull off my extra ATG tape. <laughs> so we're going to run this at the top. This is so much fun. Nice. You can glue that. You don't have to use an ATG gun. You don't have to use, you don't have to use a tape runner. You can just... Use glue on this stuff if you want to. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm actually doing the right side. 
Okay. Oh no. I think we're getting it. That looks uh, crazy. That looks so crazy. There, that's a little bit better, I think. Sweet. That's so pretty. I just love that combo. I think I do like it. I decided I was going to go a little bit different, just try something different with this one. But when I got it together, it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that as much. Maybe with a, like a mulberry card stock, it would have been better if this piece. So that's why I decided I was going to go with the, the right side, this side. And this in the, uh, in the project instructions, it has you doing it on the side. So it's all good though. So this piece goes on, um, not next. This piece goes on next. Now you can use the bright side or you can use the darker side. I'm going to go with the bright side this time. Good enough. And uh, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not really measuring anything. If you want to be precise with it, you can measure it. I do these projects like I cook. <laughs> Very haphazardly. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to put this one on next. On the darker side. I think it's the darker side or is that the lighter side? I think it's the lighter side. I'm going to go with the lighter side. Make it a little more cheerful. My ATG tape is sort of going bananas here. I'm going to have to take a look and see if I've got something off kilter. I may not have something in there quite right. Looks good. This one on next. And if you want to, you can... Did I even get that on right? I think I did. I don't know. Let's, let's try this again. <laughs> I'm just looking at this. I think I got the paper up backwards. Oh, well, who's going to know, right? Okay, so we're going to do the... I have it out here. Some dimensionals. I did. I did have it out. I'm just going to use whatever dimensionals I can find at this point. But if you have the... Uh, oh, those are too small. Have the... I, it must have got shifted over here someplace. I have some um, ATG, or excuse me, um, the dimensional tape or the, the, the foam tape. But we're just going to use some dimensionals here just to pop that up a little bit. And I'm just looking for some I want to use. These are stinky tall. Stinky small. Oh, well, we're going to use them anyway. They were handy. Just want to pop it up. You don't have to do any of this. I just thought it would be kind of cool to do that. I wonder if I can move this guy a little bit. Not without sticking to my finger, I guess, huh? All right, that's good. I 
I just want to get this small little top piece off, guys. There we go. I just love the way it is. Um, I love to pop things up. Here we go. Looks good. This project has been a train wreck. <laughs> Put that to the side. Do you ever just like you can't find your stuff? It's like you you put your stuff out, right? This is we're we're so good at this. And we put our stuff out, and then the next thing you know, it's walked off or rolled off or something. So that's kind of what's happened here with some of this stuff on this project. All right, I'm gonna bring these over. We're gonna need to glue these. We've already stamped this little guy, so we're gonna get him out of the way. And uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm going to use the darker, but as some means I'm going to glue the lighter side. All right, let's give it a shot here. We're going to put our glue on with this pen. Okay, now we got all of our little glue on our little pieces. We're just going to start sticking it on, I think. So I'm just going to kind of, if I can, go right in the middle. Yep. Now the glue, as it um, as it dries, it will stick on there. It's like a two-way glue. And I don't know. I must have not cut out the little bows. Okay. <coughs> okay, so I've already stuck this uh, a long piece on. So we're going to go ahead and get the other pieces on and decide where we want to put this thing. Looks good. Love it. All right, let's get this other little bit off. So cool, so cute. Love it. And there we go. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next project. Take care.